Hello Fox, uh, good evening to all. This is uh, Mike Padua and we are back again with our latest uh, Typhoon 2000 weather analysis for this Wednesday through Friday, October 25 to 27, 2023. And this is our English version brought to you by Typhoon 2000 in partnership with Naga College Foundation, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, Avenue Plaza Hotel, the local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman Gabi Bordado of the 3rd District of Kamarimisur. And uh, before we begin, we'd like to again promote this uh, uh, Climate Action Center of Comunidad. Uh, if you're willing to have your own Climate Action Center, those LGUs and, uh, and companies that are willing or interested to check this uh, product of Comunidad, just go to our website, typhoon2000.ph, and click on the first banner you'll see on the topmost part of the page, and you'll be forwarded to a uh, uh, Google form for you to uh, answer and uh, submit. And then Mr. Aaron uh, Cabasal of the uh, Comunidad uh, uh, company will contact you or uh, you can also contact him directly at 0976-163-7245 or email him at iron.kabasal at comunidad.co so uh, this uh, product of comunidad has been already uh, used on some LGUs around the Philippines particularly in Metro Manila okay so don't forget to check out Comunidad Climate Action Center. So let's begin with our update. Here is the latest graph set for today, Wednesday, until uh, tomorrow, tomorrow, Thursday. The Northeast Monsoon has uh, weakened, and uh, we just have here the Northeasterly Surface Wind Flow, or Northeasterly in short, also known as the Weak Amihan, and it's uh, bringing some uh, good weather with a uh, pleasant breeze of 15 to 35 kph along the extreme northern parts of Luzon that includes Batanes and the eastern sections of uh, Luzon from Cagayan Valley down to northern Quezon those facing the Pacific will have an ample amount of northeasterly V's and also over the Bicol region and the northern portions of uh, Samar so expect uh, isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening, but throughout the day, it will be sunny to cloudy, okay? And the risk of flooding and landslides will remain low across these areas. The shoreline during the past uh, the weekend has uh, weakened, and uh, we are now enjoying some good weather. Now to the east of Mindanao, we have a fully developed monsoon trough and on the middle part of this monsoon trough, we have a shallow low pressure area which has developed but it's not yet uh, becoming active. It's class A stationary to the south of Guam and we are going to observe this in the coming days because uh, the computer models are split in developing this uh, uh, potential uh, low pressure system and uh, we have a uh, uh, increasing or strengthening westerly wind burst which is a common feature of El Nino climate so there is an anomalous uh, westerly wind burst here that could trigger some uh, low pressure system to develop in the vicinity of Micronesia Okay, so we are going to observe uh, this system for the next five days and into the first week of November for, for possible development into a tropical cyclone. And later on, I'm going to show to you what is the forecast of the American and the European model. They don't agree actually, okay, so that's uh, quite uh, good news for us. And uh, if we take a look at the fast animation, there you go. Uh, all clear across the Philippine Islands with isolated uh, passing rain showers and thunderstorms. And here's the shallow LPA uh, currently uh, uh, with its on and off uh, convection. 
but we are going to observe this within the next three to five days and for the zoom in satellite animation from windy.com it's already uh let me check the time um 9 30 on this uh, windy up and the loop is from 3 45 to 9 30 p.m as you can see most of the thunderstorms are concentrated over the Visayas, portions of northern Mimaropa, and also here across uh, Mindanao and the mountainous regions of Ilocos. Okay, uh, that includes uh, the mountainous areas of Ilocos region. So uh, watch out for heavy downpour. And don't forget to bring your umbrellas and uh, rain gear if you are going out of your homes okay so that's the latest uh, windy uh, satellite animation so there you go these are the uh, uh, intense thunderstorms across Visayas and Mindanao now let's take a look at the easterly wave uh, European model ensemble this is the latest one for today October 25th and we could see an increasing uh, uh, ensemble number of ensemble over the area of the shallow LPA so this is uh, a thing to watch in the coming uh, week and uh, some of them is sh showing a curvature but there are also some moving into central Luzon and Bicol region so we are going to monitor this but uh, no worries it's not yet final uh, usually the ensemble if it goes super dark like hit this it's already a, a threat to our country okay so we will uh, check that out in the coming days now let's take a look at the windy.com uh, pressure and wind forecast for the next three days until Saturday so tomorrow afternoon we could see that the northeasterly wind flow is starting to recede more to the north just affecting the Batanes and Babuyan group of islands, including the coastal waters of Cagayan and Ilocos Norte, while the rest of the country will remain calm to variable winds expected. And here's the westerly wind burst continues to uh, occur over the southernmost part of Micronesia, south of Palau, and the shallow LPA is still quasi-stationary to the south of Guam on Thursday or tomorrow. On Friday afternoon, the latest on the European model shows the uh, LPA starting to uh, become a modest LPA. Most likely uh, it will become uh, somewhere between a shallow and an active uh, low pressure system. We could, we could uh, uh, call this we could call this as a regular low pressure system, but we will uh, wait and see what will be the scenario of this LPA. While the northeast monsoon is starting to in, uh, develop once again, but still northeasterly wind flow across uh, extreme northern Luzon and it's ex uh, extending now down to the eastern coastal waters of Luzon and uh, the rest of the country will remain calm to variable winds with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening now on saturday afternoon this will be the last of our three-day forecast of the wind and pressure uh, the european model continues to show the northeasterly wind flow or the weak amihan affecting the bigger region the eastern sections of northern and central Luzon as well as the northern uh, coastal areas of extreme northern Luzon that's from Batanes down to uh, northern Cagayan and here's the uh, broad LPA with the uh, westerly wind burst is still intact and it's now to the southwest of uh, Guam crawling towards the west northwest okay so that's the uh, forecast and if we take a look at the uh, forecast of more than five days which is uh, currently which is highly uncertain yet okay so let's move 
to uh, Tuesday, last day of uh, October. So there you go. The low pressure area will start to move from this to this. Okay. Based on the European model. And on Wednesday, November 1st, it could become a tropical depression. And on Tuesday, November 2, our 26th anniversary of Typhoon 2000, that LPA, that tropical depression, I mean, on this forecast will become a tropical storm and it will start to move more to the southwest in this manner because of the uh, uh, strengthening high pressure ridge over southern Japan and the northeast monsoon starting to be enhanced by this uh, potential storm and on uh, November 3 early morning it continues to uh, dig down towards the southwest and in the evening of Friday uh, November 3 it could become a severe tropical storm or a 75 kph tropical storm so this is quite alarming when it comes to the European model but don't worry the forecast is still uh, more than five days if we count it beginning uh, 8 a.m. of today Wednesday okay so that's uh, around uh, seven to nine days from now so the probability is very low 0 to 20 percent with uh, very high uncertainty if it will push through okay so mm, just don't uh, mind it yet but if the forecast is nearing five days and it's still there and uh, less than five days that's uh, uh, going to be a topic okay and uh, if we check out the American model, it's a different thing because on November 1, it doesn't show any low pressure system or a tropical depression or tropical storm over this area. Most likely, it's a uh, elongated uh, trough or a shear line. So we shall see in the coming days. November 2, there's nothing, just a shear line here. And November 3, Friday, there's another one that will form to the east of Guam. Okay, so that's the uh, scenario of the American model. We know that the American model, if the forecast is more than uh, 6 up to 10 days, the probability will remain 0 to 20%, very low. So it might uh, not push through, okay? so we will let you know on that uh, scenario so let me check out again the european model there you go so it's a different uh, placement of these uh, potential storms so we still don't know it's up in the air we will let you know in the coming days if what model will blend into uh, will blend together okay if the American model will go to the European model or the European model will go to the American model until they agree. So we will wait and see the blending of these two computer models. So let's proceed now to our rainfall accumulation forecast for the next three days. As you can see here, here's the uh, very active monsoon trough. That's why the rainfall here is from 50 to a little more than 100 millimeters okay and uh, Mindanao will uh, still experience some localized thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening until Saturday and also in some portions of Luzon particularly northern Luzon uh, Visayas Mimaropa and also some small areas of Bicol region but it doesn't show here a very strong uh, low pressure a very strong uh, thunderstorm so it might uh, remain uh, good weather across Bicolandia and before we leave this uh, update let me uh, take you to the latest global tropics hazards outlook from the climate prediction center again this is valid for the ne next two to three weeks with the third week very highly uncertain 
Now let's begin on week two, valid November one to November seven. That will be uh, beginning next week or next Wednesday. The Philippine Sea, the South China Sea, and the Western Pacific Ocean, all the way up to uh, Eastern or Marshall Islands, Eastern Micronesia or Marshall Islands, continues to remain under more than twenty percent of tropical cyclone uh, formation probability. Okay. And uh, you can see here the dry conditions because of the uh, occurrence of El Nino. And also here over northwestern Australia, they are predicting more than 65% of above average temperature probability. So it's really uh, uh, bringing some drought conditions also here across uh, Malaysia and Indonesia. It's uh, below average rainfall probability and for the week three valid uh, november 8 to november 14 it remains the same for the whole philippines western pacific and south china sea more than 20 percent of a tropical cyclone formation probability so this is uh, likely at low chance of a tropical cyclone probability and also here so wait and see. We will wait and see the coming uh, weeks if uh, there will be a tropical cyclone. But we are now focusing our attention to the European model. Let's hope and pray it will disappear in the coming days. So there you go. That's the latest for this uh, evening of Wednesday, October 25th. And we will return on uh, Friday to give you the weekend edition of our tropical weather analysis right here at typhoon2000.ph and also at our Facebook and YouTube channel. Just type in Mr. Typhoon and subscribe and click the notification bell if you want to do, know the very latest of the uh, weather and the tropical cyclone formation across the Philippines and the Western Pacific. Again, this is Mike Padua saying good night to all. Have a great uh, evening. Stay safe always. And thank you so much for watching our channel.